everyone, my name is Kim and welcome back to Read It and Eat. Welcome back to Read It and Eat. It is just before the 4th of July and while the country is on fire, I thought why not bring you a list of books all about the hot dog. The hot dog is a quintessential piece of food attributed to American food. Americana food. Even though its origins are actually not from here in the United States, it does have a unique path, but it borrows a lot from its cousin, if you will, the sausage, which is clearly not an American staple. So today I have for you in my hands five books about hot dogs and one extra memoir for a total of six different books should you want to learn about the great American hot dog. So sitting more distinctly in the food history realm, I have two recommendations if you want to learn more about the hot dog. The first is Hot Dog. This is part of the Edible Food series. I'm trying to see if my camera will focus for you. There we go. So this is Hot Dog, just as it sounds. Hot Dog, A Global History by Bruce Craig. This is one of the many books of the Edible Food History series from Brechtian Books. I have talked about this series numerous times on my channel, and I'll even link a whole description for you in the comments below and in the cards above. I own many of these books. It is my goal to actually complete this series, but this is a pocket little book all about the hot dog. It comes in just under 125 pages with the appendix built in. There's also additional um, references and website associations you can look up to learn more about the hot dog. This is great for someone who maybe wants to look into hot dog manufacturing, the history of the hot dog, the hot dog hall of fame, which yes exists, and more books about the, the hot dog history and mythology. So great pocket read, tiny book, all about the history of the hot dog. Now when we think about the hot dog, I do think that there is some association with kosher food. Hebrew National is a very well-known hot dog brand here in the States. So I do recommend picking up the book, Kosher Nation, Why More and More of America's Foods Answer to a Higher Authority by Sue Fishkoff. Now this book will not be entirely by the, about the hot dog, excuse me, but it does talk about the role of kosher designation, kosher standards, and how it impacts our food in America. The hot dog is one of them. So this is a, a larger read, obviously. It's, it's gonna cover other foods in general, but the hot dog is in here. This book was published in 2010, and let's see. There's kraut, there's rye, there's kosher meats, which is where I think they would put the hot dog, and things, and much more. So this is a new, I'd say food history, but also food culture, a different way to approach learning about the hot dog. I also think the cover is pretty cool. As you can see, there aren't that many food history books specifically about the hot dog. I was actually really shocked to see that because there's so many books about the hamburger. And to me, in Americanized food, it goes burgers, hot dogs, and fries. You know, like whatever you're going to get on a McDonald's tray. Um, so the next couple of books are actually specific journeys or specific food businesses or hot dog businesses, if you will. So one that I've already reviewed on my channel and did a buddy read on in the past is Famous Nathan, a family saga of Coney Island, the American dream, and the search for the perfect hot dog. I read this a couple of years ago um, and buddy read it for my channel. This is all about Nathan's hot dogs. And if you're from New York, you might, or really in the United States, you might be familiar with the Coney Island hot dog eating contest that happens every year. This book is going to be a family memoir. It's written by, I believe now, the grandson in this family history. So you're going to learn about the family before they come, come to America, coming to America. And it really is a story of like the immig immigrant dream, excuse me, and how Nathan, Nathan's hot dogs came to be what they are today. It also talks a lot about, I'd say, a little bit of that filial piety, how the sons and the stress of bringing and continuing a family legacy, but also pushing against the boundaries of what they want to do as their own sons, as their own individuals. So there is a lot of family tension in here as well. But this is a book all about specifically Nathan's Hot Dogs. Another book I have on my shelves, but I haven't finished yet, is Out of the Dog House, 
Turning a $1,100 Investment into a Billion Dollar Profit by Dick Portillo. Now, if you recognize the name Portillo, Portillo hot dogs are very well known in Chicago. Now, I lived in Chicago for three years and can confirm a Chicago dog is very different than a Coney Island dog or even a Nathan's hot dog. I grew up with ketchup on my hot dogs. I don't know, call me a Jersey girl, call me a New Yorker. When you go to Chicago, ketchup does not apply. Uh, Dick Portillo is living the American dream. I'm just going to read the back for you. Coming from a very humble beginning, his indistinguishable energy and clear understanding of what customers want made him a tremendous success. It was never an option for Dick to be second best at anything. His determination to succeed didn't come from a desire to have more. It came from a desire to do better. Only a few can keep up to such high standards 24-7, 365 days of the year with a smile on their face. People think his success looks easy. I promise you it is not. A life spent never squandering a moment along with the sacrifice and hard work shaped him into much more than just another restaurateur. Every one of us can learn something from the famous stories of his amazing life experience. The reason I connect with Dick is that, like him, I, always, I was always a risk taker, adventurer, and survivor. He set his sights high and followed his heart, which makes his story so much more inspiring for the rest of us. And that was a blurb on the back from Jimmy John Toud, who's the owner of Jimmy John's. So, Portillo's, this is definitely more of a biography slash autobiography versus a memoir. So, I would say Famous Nathan's is going to fall into that family memoir food space. This is going to be more of a food biography, which that's fine. Nothing. Just wanted to make that distinction. So, more than likely third person. This is slightly third person, but it's written from the grandson or the great grandson. I forget off the top of my head. So just a little bit of nuance in what your reading experience might be like. So the book, this next book, I don't own, and I just learned about it. It is called The New York Hot Dog King, From Rags to Riches to Less Than Rags, a memoir by Dan Rossi. So this I did find by Amazon. I haven't purchased it on Amazon, but I found it on Amazon while Googling books about the history of hot dogs. This looks like it is independently published, which I have to check my own bias about this, not... I should give independently published books a better chance. Um, but it came out September 21st of 2022. It's 270 pages. And the description is, 30 years ago, life was good for Dan Rossi, the pushcart king who was living the American dream. Today, the quintessential New Yorker sleeps in his van in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art on Fifth Avenue, Manhattan, New York. He sells hot dogs and is known as the New York Hot Dog King. This compelling memoir is about one man who stood alone against Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani to defend the rights of disabled veterans in a city that lost its moral compass. Learn how Dan Rossi, an ordinary man who grew up in a poor Bronx neighborhood, refused to cross the line into the world of destruction and vengeance and went from rags to riches to less than rags in a battle of character and honor. So, if you've never been to New York City, you might have heard of the infamous Dirty Water Hot Dog. Dirty Water Hot Dog is kind of just what it sounds like. It's a push cart where hot dogs are submerged in a hot water bath to keep them warm and fresh. Now, they get a bad reputation, but many food vendors with a lot of pride in their push carts, and that is their sole source of income. So I would say, first off, give them a chance. And the push cart king, his spot in front of the Museum of Modern Art is one of the most sought after spaces in New York City. And I know this because actually, I think it was the New York Times. Um, there is a series now on YouTube, we'll put the picture here, um, where we have investigative journalism that learns about different foods made in New York. And they actually did a whole episode on the hot dog. And this push cart king, it's about how difficult it is to get food stall or food vendor permits within the United States, especially in New York City. So a lot of these people get displaced or they're selling illegally. So the push cart king, he's kind of been the staple who's been around for many years. And I'm guessing that is what part of this book is going to challenge and talk about. Now, again, I haven't read it. I only just discovered it about 10 minutes before I turned on the camera. So if you've read it, let me know. Drop the notes down below. I'll try and see if I can get it off of like bookshop.org versus Amazon. Uh, because, but it is independently published. So I'm not sure how easy it'll be for me to find it. The final book about hot dogs that I just started reading is a new June 2023 release. You might have seen it on my Seattle book haul list. I got Raw Dog, The Naked Truth About Hot Dogs by Jamie Loftus. So first off, 
I have to show you the inside of this cover because it's a striking cover. If you were in a Barnes and Nobles, it definitely pops off the shelf. That's what drew my eye in. But I really, really like this inside cover much better. Look at how pretty this is. Look at these like hand illustrations. And that's the cover and the back with these pictures. And then if you look inside, there's actually a whole map for Jamie's journey across the country to learn about hot dogs. So first off, who is Jamie Loftus? I honestly don't pick up too many books knowing who my authors are, which is, that's fine. Jamie Loftus is a comedian, Emmy Award nominated TV writer and podcaster. She worked as a staff writer on Teenage in Euthanasia, Robot Chicken, and Star, De Star Trek Lower Decks, and wrote and starred in her own web series for Comedy Central. She writes and hosts popular limited run po podcasts, My Year in Mensa, Lolita Podcast, ACKCAST, A-A-C-K, and Ghost Church. And she co-hosts with screenwriter Caitlin Durante a podcast on the iHeart Podcast Network called The Bestial Cast. She has her baby teeth bronzed and loaded into a slingshot. I have no idea what that last part means. So what is Raw Dog about, you may ask? It's about hot dogs. Poor people created them. Rich people found a way to charge $15 for them. They're high culture. They're low culture. They're sports food. They're kids food. They're hangover food. And they're deeply American. You can love them, you can hate them, but you can't avoid the great American hot dog. Raw Dog, the, na the Naked Truth About Hot Dogs, is part an investigation into the cultural and culinary significance of hot dogs and part travel log documenting a cross-country road trip, researching them as they're served today. From avocado and spice in the West to ash-shattering chili in the East to an entire salad on a slice of meat in Chicago, Loftus, her pets, and her ex eat their way through the country during the strange summer of 2021. So grab a dog, lay out your picnic blanket, and dig into your delicious and inevitable product of the centuries of violence, poverty, and mission now rolling around at your local 7-Eleven. I'm about 30 pages into this one. I want to take my time. I accidentally pre-ordered the audio birth version of this as well, but I'm really excited that I own the book. I really like it so far. I mean, she's a comedian, so her writing style has me laughing the whole time. I highly recommend this. If anyone else has picked up Raw Dog, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is five physical books all about the hot dog, plus one more independently published one. Let me know in the comments below. First off, do you even like hot dogs? Second, what is your favorite kind of hot dog? Are you going to load it up with condiments? Are you team ketchup? Are you team mustard? Are you team like peppers or relish? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you're well. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let me know what you're reading next. I hope you're eating something great and reading something delicious and I will see you in the next one. Bye.